What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be breaking down how to create this 3D camera movement animation. I saw this animation in this edit that I saw on YouTube and I thought it looked really cool and unique. So I wanted to show you guys how to do it in this tutorial. In After Effects, we'll just be using one clip in order to create this animation. To get started, I'll be creating a new shape layer. For this shape layer, you want to make sure you have the rounded rectangle tool selected. In order to change the shape options, you can hold the alt button on your keyboard, left click, and just drag through whichever shape that you want. So in our case, we want this rounded rectangle tool. Make sure your fill is on and then the stroke is off. For the fill color, it doesn't matter what color it is. So you just want to create a rectangle shape. Create this rectangle shape that doesn't completely fill the composition. Make sure that the anchor point is at the center of this layer. In order to do that, just hold the control button, click that layer, and then click the anchor point tool twice. Go to the align tab. If you can't see the align tab, you can go to window, click align, and then your align tab should pop up here on the right. Make sure that our shape layer is right at the center. And then go into the shape layer, open the rectangle. I want to adjust the height of the shape layer. And if you only want to adjust the height, you can go to the size and then unlink the X and Y values. Only adjust the Y value. Let's also increase the roundness so that the corners of our shape layer is a lot more round. And with this shape layer, it's going to be used in order to create rounded corners for our video layer. So you want to click the toggle switches and modes. Go to the track mat of your video layer and select your shape layer. Now, as you guys can see, we have rounded corners for our video. We're going to then pre-compose these two layers. Turn this layer into a 3D layer and also turn on the motion blur. Let's create a new solid layer. And this solid layer is going to be for the background. So I'll have that a black solid color. Bring that underneath our layer. Change the name to BG for background. I'm also just going to increase the scale to 200. For our video layer, I'm going to add a vignette. By adding this vignette, it just focuses more on the middle of our composition. We're going to then create a new camera go to new and then click camera for my settings i'm going to have the preset at 35 millimeters click ok and to create this animation i'm going to create a new null object turn that null object into a 3d layer grab the parent pick whip of the camera layer and attach it to that null object so now whatever we do with this null object has full control of our camera and with this null object we're going to be creating a zoom out animation but let's go forward 10 frames hold the shift button and click page down keyframe the position we want this animation to feel smooth, so I'll be going forward 24 frames and then open up two views so that we can see two views of our composition. I'll be opening up the custom view one. For this null object, I'm going to be keyframing the Z axis of the position. And what that pretty much does is just create that zoom out effect. I'll have a keyframe like that. Grab both of the keyframes and easy ease them. Go into the graph editor. For the influence, I'll have that at 100%. When we play this, animation goes fast in the beginning and it just kind of slows down towards the end. We're going to now animate our actual video layer. Go back into the one view and then let's go to where this first keyframe is of the null object. And this is where the rotation animation is going to start for our video layer. We're going to have our video layer rotating in a way where it's almost flat on the composition. Before doing that, I'm going to increase the scale of our video layer just so that it completely fills the composition. I'll have that at 116% and then open up the rotation of this layer. We're going to keyframe the X rotation and then go forward 20 frames. Keyframe the X rotation at negative 70. Easy ease both of those keyframes. Go into the graph editor, create the same graph. Now when we play this, we have the video layer rotating. I want to lower the position of this video layer just by a little because it's about at the center, but we want this video layer to be a little lower just so that we have room for our text. So going to our null object, we're going to keyframe the position and we're going to lower the Y value. I'll have it like that. We're going to now create our text. For this text layer, I'm going to write draft day, which is the name of our artist. For the font, I'll be using engravers MT. Make sure the anchor point of this text layer is right at the center. Hold the control button on your keyboard and then double click this anchor point tool. Turn this layer into a 3D layer and also turn on the motion blur. I'm also going to increase the scale of this text layer. I'll increase that to 210%. For this text layer, I'm going to animate it in a way where it fades from left to right. Let's first turn off the video layer for now. 
open up this text layer, go to animate and click opacity, lower the opacity all the way to 0%. And if you open up the range selector and adjust the start, as you guys can see, it fades in our text from left to right. Let's keyframe the start of this range selector right when the camera starts animating. Keyframe the start at 0%, click that layer, click U to reveal the keyframes. And then let's go forward 20 frames, keyframe the start back to 100%, easy ease those keyframes, go into the graph editor, create the same graph. When we play this through, as you guys can see, we have that really smooth animation of our text layer. I'm also going to cut this layer to the start of this keyframe because as the animation is happening, I don't want it to appear at the start right when our video layer is playing. We're going to then keyframe the position as well as the rotation of this text layer. And the way we want to animate this is we want it to animate in a way where it appears at the top in the beginning and then it slowly animates down because at the moment, as you guys can see, it's right at the center and we don't want our text right at the center we want it to animate from the top. So go to the position and drag the Y axis so that it's all the way at the top right above our layer. Keyframe that position, go forward 20 frames and keyframe the position so that it's right above our video layer. Easy ease both of these keyframes and then go into the graph editor, create the same graph. And now when we play this through, our text looks kind of weird because it's not rotated as our video layer is also rotating. So we're going to keyframe the X rotation, keyframe that at 90 degrees, because as the camera is zooming out and our video layer is rotating, we also want our text layer to be rotating just so that the animation can feel a lot smoother. So keyframe the X rotation at 90 degrees, go forward 20 frames and keyframe it back to zero. Easy ease both of those keyframes. Let's go into the graph editor, create the same graph. Let's play this through. Now, as you guys can see, we have more of a smoother animation as the text is animating. For this text layer, I feel like the animation fades in a little too fast. Let's grab this last keyframe of the range selector and just move it forward four frames, exactly where this final keyframe is for the null object. Now, as you guys can see, that text animation feels a lot smoother. We're going to now add a few effects in order to make this animation look better. Let's create a new adjustment layer. For the first effect, I'll be adding a glow. I'll be adding a unique glow. Increase the size to 50. Next effect, we're going to add a noise. Increase the noise to 15%. Then I'm going to turn off the use color noise. And in the X Rona edit, there was also that camera wiggle effect. So we're going to add a wiggle position to this adjustment layer. I'll decrease the wiggle amount to 15 and then increase the wiggle speed to three. Also turn on the motion blur for that adjustment layer. Now when I play this, this is what we have for our final animation. It's a really simple animation, but it's also just a good way to practice your 3D camera movements. But that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.